In this lecture, we're going to spend a little bit of time getting everything set up. There's not very many dependencies, so it shouldn't take too long. The first thing we're going to do is install Node.js. I have Node.js 12.18.3. You can go ahead and grab this from their website. The current version they have is 14.16. Most versions should work, but I can't guarantee everything will work exactly the same unless you're using the same version that I am. Following that, you need to install yarn package. This is very similar to npm. It's basically a way to install packages. You're going to want version one. That's classic.yarnpackage.com. Version two did come out recently, but there are some fairly significant breaking changes and most people are still using version one. I'm using the following version. 1.22.10. Once you have both of those installed, let's go ahead and set up our template. We are going to be using something called Vite, next generation front end tooling. This is very similar to something called the Vue CLI if you're familiar with that. They're both made by the same person, Evan Yeo, so you can be confident you're in good hands. The reason I'm using Vite is because it's much, much faster and it's also a lot more simple to get started with. So that's why we're going to use Vite. You have a few options. If you're like me and you like to type all the code, you can just follow the rest of this video. If you just want to get started, head over to the repository and clone it. There's two branches. The master branch is going to be the fully completed code and getting started is going to be the minimal branch to get started. I'm going to put this as a link in the resources. I'm just going to show you exactly how this template works so you can set it up yourself if you would like. I'm going to head back to my ID now and we're going to see all the, the remaining dependencies. You need to install Vue and Vite. I'm going to use very specific versions just to guarantee everything works perfectly. So we're going to install Vue 307, which is the latest version at the time of this video. You can use a more new version, but I can't guarantee everything will work the same. The same goes for Vite. Let's go ahead and install that one too. We're going to use version 2.1.1 and we're going to install this as a dev dependency. Once you've installed that, you have everything you need to get started and I'm just going to show you the remaining files in the template. We have a source directory over here and this contains a HTML file and it's just a very basic HTML layout. Finally, we have package.json with all the dependencies for the entire course. If you did clone the template, all you need to do is run yarn install and that's going to install everything for the course. Finally, we have one more file, vite.config.js. We're going to talk more about this one later on. So just make sure you have it or you can copy paste it off the repository on GitHub. Once you have all of this installed, head over to your terminal and run yarn vite and pass in the source directory. That's going to be the directory we're going to watch for our code. Hit enter and that's going to start up. Finally, head over to localhost 3000. And if you see this blank white page, everything is working correctly and we can safely move on to the next lecture and start writing some code.